Alert assistance ensure that the Actros does not run out of compressed air in an emergency. This one, for example, the auxiliary brake valve on the Actros semi-trailer tractor. It is installed at the front and rear under the cab. As its name implies, it concerns the auxiliary brake system in this semi-trailer tractor. In this specific case, it means if the pneumatic front axle circuit fails, the braking traction at the rear axle is no longer sufficient to satisfy the legal requirements. As an auxiliary measure, one front wheel provides braking assistance. Does this measure really work in an actual emergency? The test is performed as follows. Aids for checking the auxiliary brake valve, compressed air gauge and air hoses. Connect the test pressure gauge to supply V1. Connect a second test pressure gauge at the rear of the vehicle to the left front axle wheel brake cylinder. Empty the compressed air reservoir of the front axle brake circuit with the aid of a compressed air adapter. Failure simulation of brake circuit, 2 for front axle. Reservoir pressure equals sign 0 bars. The subsequent brake test shows whether the auxiliary brake valve is working. When the brake pedal is fully depressed, the rear axle brake pressure should actuate the auxiliary brake valve at the control connection to send compressed air from the auxiliary consumer circuit to the left front wheel brake. The specialist can quickly tell from the test. Relative to the static safety pressure in brake circuit 1, a step-down pressure is sent to the left front axle. In our example, 1.7 bars. This is entirely in order and there is no problem with the valve. 